come. We must leave before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. And finding the shrines The Giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... Dead. Dead. Do you think Odin... We do not know. <laughs> I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa. What are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Einhryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look out! <laughs>
Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. A... treehouse. Lord Tyr, you're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> Father, you coming? So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. I'm going to turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes. But it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack? Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I... With a pinch of salt? Well, I'll see what I can find. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. I could have sworn we had some crackers. Maybe the squirrel took them. You know what? They must be in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. That's the materials. I got some more stuff for you. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical?
put some hurt on them. That'll mess some folks up. These will look real nice in my collection. Ah, damn, you've been busy. Yeah, these are shit. But for you, I'll buy them. Good fit. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking... I want things to be the way they were. Well... 
I'd like to claim a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His game is fresh. Expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just. Wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? What are you doing? You know it's not safe to leave the path. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just like to look over it sometimes. OK. 
caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. Chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! been going on so father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died but I don't know what he's talking about accidental magic that is disquieting <sighs> oh lifts broken I'll fix it later accidental magic's not all I sort of turned into a bear a bear Including the slobber? Yeah. Bet I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... venomous? Yaffa! <laughs> Oh. 
Shoot the barrel. It comes down. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Oh, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? Looks like there's something hidden by the horsemen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes, if only your father were here. That's not what I said. It is sound stone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on, let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment, and, well, he got it. Wow, great story. <sighs> anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? It's me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> That's a quality craftsmanship. <laughs> Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Jump! the lift switch is broken.
You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. Jormungandr's Gander's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we tried. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back Door's frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? 
Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. No way. We're so close. Go. Uh. <clears throat> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms, then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though, sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Keep going.
you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Soundstone. <gasps> it takes care of that. I have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from?
Gotta keep going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare! Come <laughs> on. 
Yeah. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. The door. Is that you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you! Thanks! I feel so much better now. Freya, what, can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah, she probably wouldn't mention that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? 
That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What <laughs> makes you think I won't do the same? better than this. <laughs> you would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <sighs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again. I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. 
Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit this injury. It's a good thing I like climbing. Thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Ah, uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking, and I, uh. Got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Yapa! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. <laughs> Nightmares! I'm gonna be sick! Yo! 
I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. <gasps> what do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. 
The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Paula. <laughs> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. 
I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. I'm trying to ask planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding Groas outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Intrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Ready when you are, father. Appreciate it. He really did it. 
Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Anything to do before we head out? At your service. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. And Atreus? Fashionable. Kratos? Strike true. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <clears throat> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? 
Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphine. <laughs> Did they now? place we use your unity stone to reach where you hit the Jotunheim tower. Oh, yes. So much trouble I went to, trying to protect the giants. Did it work? I guess. I'm not sure. from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Whoa. 
broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. I'll meet you on the other side. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And mute. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. <laughs> I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Shrine is at the top. Good eye. By frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Luke. Ah, very well.
Freyr never bothered returning to Alpine, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. seem to get rid of those things. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. that there's a gap in the fence over there oh very clever always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please, you don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. <laughs> We're the ones who freed the light. He's coming! Right side! Why are you fighting us? We 
help you last time. Atreus, focus. Uh, I hate Alphon. Let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there anything more in their way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. I know what your father said. I'm just naive. I guess. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <sighs> Beat to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to warp. Of nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> so, best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? <clears throat> What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. 
This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Sense in spoiling the surprise? The light! Ah. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimble winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. <laughs> Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Follow me, friends.
lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. I see. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> <laughs>
Shall we continue? So if these elves keep doors and make themselves stronger, no. what do the Dark Elves want? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem.
Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say it. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. <laughs> hey, that looks interesting.
I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Back to it then. Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? <clears throat> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Yo! 
Stone on the ground. Chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. We must have anointed a new temple guardian. Bartho Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. must be precise.
Masterfully done. The light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. Continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Straight ball of light coming your way! Right side, Father! statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the castle, Yeah, look. The foundation's weak. Father could push this over no problem. Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? <gasps>
there. Why must they insist on these frustrating times? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. Done. More twilight still. It's nice seeing it again.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. Getting stuck on the wing. There must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Oh. 
Oh, I see it now. The wings are connected back here. That looks right. wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. <clears throat> Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Uh, facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. What? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it?
hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You he... went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Rose Triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one.
Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! Wear it with pride. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? Let's see, my boy.
wasteful. What'll it be? The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so. 
But Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Whatever you need. Have we more to talk about? So, what'd you see? A lot. Roa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife, those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home.
Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Down here. Father, this way. now before more arrive. <laughs> We 
need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Find you, watcher! Okay. No. It is over. It is far from over. 
I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting hell. Can they just leave us alone? <laughs> We 
We need to get out of here. Through here! Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy. But I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. I remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself.
Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Oh wow, it seems useful. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. This axe just keeps getting stronger. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated ah! Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find the king first to catch our bearings. Tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand!
cave entrance. Extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. more about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader.
creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay.
been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. No, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
There, that bomb should help us out. Just why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alpha, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
nightmare on the left. <laughs> Bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy, while I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hathkafas are known to burrow, so I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goof and loose here. It flies? Of course 
course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad... did this. As am I. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Enough. We will continue later. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it.
Atria, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Rold, we will finish later. Now, if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare talk. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. We really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, Lana. Crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. <laughs> 